In this video, you will learn how to create a contribution margin income statement. I'm going to use the assignment from the practice assignment to complete the contribution margin income statement with you. So, to begin with, the Maple Creek Golf Club is planning its annual members golf tournament. The tournament committee has assembled the following expected costs for the event. Advertising $75, golf course rental $6,000, meal per person $8.50, power carts per person $15, rental of the hall $1,000, and each person will receive a welcome bag which costs $1.75 a person. The committee members would like to charge $45 per golfer. Assuming that 150 persons attended the golf tournament, calculate the net income or net loss using the contribution margin format income statement. So, as in the past, we have our three line heading. So, the heading for the beginning, the company name is Maple Creek Golf Club. I'm just going to make this a little larger for us. We're doing a contribution margin income statement. And we're going to use today's date as the date of the event, which would be April 30th, 2012. Okay, so we have our three line heading we're going to put in the first thing on any income statement is our revenue. So our revenue consists of the fee to join the tournament. Is the golf tournament fee. I just have to make this a little larger for us. I'm going to include in brackets how I got the number for the golf tournament fee. So there is, we're going to charge $45 and we're going to anticipate that 150 people will attend the tournament. So when you multiply that together, we expect to make revenue of $6,750. Now what makes this income statement different is we're going to have the expenses that are variable depending on how much, how many people attend the event and the fixed amounts which it doesn't matter how many people attend the event we still have to pay the same amount of money. So first of all we're going to put less variable expenses. And I'm going to highlight the variable expenses for you in green. Okay, so variable expenses are any of the ones that say per person. So anything that we have to pay per person, those are our variable expenses that we need to list here. So we have the meal. So once again, we have the meal costs eight dollars and fifty cents. Eight dollars and fifty cents. And we anticipate a hundred and fifty people coming to the event. And power carts, because each person will get one. They are fifteen dollars times a hundred and fifty people. And then we have our welcome bags. And they are a dollar seventy five times a hundred and fifty people. All right, so it doesn't appear as though we have any other per person 
charges, so that would be our total variable expenses. So we're going to add that up. And this amount becomes our contribution margin. Okay, and it did tell us to subtract. So we're going to subtract this minus our total variable expenses and our contribution margin is 29.63. All right, now we have to subtract our fixed expenses. And these are the ones that are not going to change regardless of how many people come to our event. So we have advertising for 75, golf course rental for 6,000, and we have rental of the hall for 1,000. And we have no other expenses, so our total fixed expenses are going to be 7,075. When I look at our contribution margin and I look at our fixed expenses, this is going to tell me that we are going to end up with a net loss as we need to subtract these two numbers. We have a net loss of $4,113, so our golf course is going to have to really think about this event um, and whether $45 is enough to, you know, it's obviously not enough to run the event because you don't want to lose $4,000 by running, a, running an event. Okay, the last step is don't forget to merge and center the headings across the columns that you've used. And there you have a contribution margin income statement. I hope that makes sense to you. Thank you.